Hello and welcome to Parisno, and this is version 1.4.5. 1.5 is actually on the way, they are currently working on that, and if you'd like to check out the mod, there is a link in the description. Otherwise, these are the current mod options that I'm going to be playing with right here. We're going to be starting with Canonical Wars currently being enabled, and obviously Fog of War and Hard Mode being disabled for the moment, and we can now choose who we want to be so we're going to be a man i guess and uh, we'll do something else i think i might be a human actually all things considered because look at this this is actually really cool they've exchanged the elf race with the nafali i'm not entirely sure why that happened but apparently it did anyway we'll be a human for the moment and what i'm actually looking for is a decent amount of trade skill decent amount of prisoner management and indeed looting so We'll see what we can do here. A small village on Parisno's western coast, a land far from Parisno, or a cold island to the north. Not sure whether this actually makes that much of a difference. Yeah, apparently it does. Significant changes in your stats. Okay, good to know. Anyway, let's just take a quick look here. I'd like traveling merchant, I think, because trade is definitely going to come in uh, pretty handy, I think. Pretty handy. Anyway, let's go for stealing, I think, because I would like to get good looting. However... The problem is, if I do not go for crafting, my trade skill goes down quite considerably. What if I go for reading instead? That gives me spotting. Ugh. Yeah, that's not really going to be that helpful, is it? Okay, well, I'm thinking maybe scouting. That gives me more spotting, gives me more tracking, gives me more writing skill, athletic skill. I mean, that can be kind of useful. But I think we'll go for stealing here because looting is definitely going to be useful. And we probably also want to go for maybe the smith. That gives me more trade skill. Mm, I'm thinking probably not any of these right now. Probably bandit because that's going to give me another little bit in looting. For money and power is what we're going to go for as well. Why did we begin adventuring? We're going to go for that. And that's going to give me seven in looting to begin with. Four in trade skill. Obviously we don't have anything in prison management which is going to be a pretty significant problem. However, we start with 2,200 gold, which is going to be extremely, extremely useful. It will be very, very good for us, and you'll see exactly why when we get into things. Anyway, so prisoner management. Obviously, this is a charisma skill, and we're going to need to get quite a bit of this. So mm, I'm a bit worried about it, all things considered, because I am not that confident about my abilities in Parisno. I have probably I have quite a bit of experience in the first versions of this mod, but there have been so many iterations since I last played, and now now I'm basically a fish out of water, so to speak. So yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna be going for 15 in charisma here, going pretty hard on that. Massive amounts of trade skill as well. And do we want to go for some leadership too? Probably, right? <laughs> probably yeah we'll go for leadership as well even though actually you know what that is not even that is not good to do okay that is not good to do okay so there's actually going to be something that i'll do instead so what we're going to do instead is we're going to go for one one more point in charisma to get me to 12 and then we'll go to intelligence 10 and i'm needing to get pathfinding you see I need to get pathfinding because if I don't go for pathfinding, everyone is just going to murder us in every single possible respect. And I literally just made a mistake by clicking on persuasion instead of prisoner management. Okay, so we're going to go for prisoner management, as I said before, and we will also go for pathfinding. Let's just make sure I'm clicking on the right thing, shall we? There we have it. Okay, so I have seven in that. Uh, athletics is looking pretty decent, actually, all things considered. Not too bad. And maybe... Yeah, I think I might just go for some leadership here. Mm, should we go for some power strike? Let's go for some power strike. Just to make sure we can actually do some damage, right? We need to do some damage. All right, here's Bruce. Let's just give him a beard or something along those lines. Let's give him a wonderful beard. And I, I, I think that actually looks pretty decent for him right now. Something like this seems seems kind of kind of good for him. All right, let's do that. And there we have it. All right, so now we can start off anywhere we so desire. I think I'm probably going to be starting in... Oh, uh, let me see if I can remember where each of these are. I think Ford might be pretty decent. Let's start over there. And here we are. Oh, okay, yeah, this was actually a little bit further away than what I wanted because there is a specific place that I want to go to 
in the beginning of this episode. And that is all the way over here to the Mercenary Guild. Yes, I want to go to the Mercenary Guild almost immediately. Hopefully I'm not going to get murdered by these deserters along the way. So yes, I have 74 maximum company size, which is actually pretty good, surprisingly enough. And we also have some throwing knives here and some pretty decent gear to start us off as well. My saddle horse is not particularly good, but everything else is looking decent-ish. Anyway, I'm just going to go very quickly into the tavern here. You never know who you're going to find. Maybe you're going to find someone really, really good, like a companion that can join you for free, because there are a bunch of companions that can actually do that. And some of them have amazing gear. Some of them have really, really good stats. Almost all of them have really good stats, actually. Oh, I think Agner actually joins us for free. Thrak, I've never seen Thrak before. I think he taught, I think Agner joins us for free. So there we go. Uh, yeah, we, there, there we are. <laughs> that was easy enough, wasn't it? Okay, definitely wasn't expecting that. Okay, ah, uh, yes. An old giant, you ought to have a story or two. Hmm, I suppose I might. Suppose you want me to tell you a story like your grandfather, you sitting atop my knee, huh? No, he's not going to do that. All right, my name is Thrak, and I used to kill whelps and men for Bacal. Those days are long gone, though. Okay, so wait a minute. He's going to be extremely expensive. What do you bet? Yep, 7,500. Never in a million years. Not going to be able to afford him. Uh, well, maybe maybe soon. Maybe soon, but not, not just yet. Anyway, we're just going to get a couple of... Um, I actually... I actually don't even know whether I should get troops. How fast? Do I'm I'm traveling at 8.7 speed. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to bother getting troops right now because I have Agner with us. I'm not entirely sure. He's a medic. Oh, okay. That's fantastic. I don't think I've ever recruited Agner before in the entire time of me playing Parisno beforehand. If you would like to check out my previous series of Parisno, by the way, there will be links down below in the description and I have a lot of them. Yes, I have a lot of them. I played Parisno a massive amount back in the day. Oh, hello. I think we are going to be hunting some animals. This is perfect. Okay, hopefully Agner is with... Oh, no, he's not with me. Are you serious? Okay, well, this is not going to go very well, as you might expect. I am not very good at this. Oh, actually, not bad. Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised about this. Whoa, what, what's going on with the amount of... The amount of... <laughs> HP these boars have. That is crazy. Okay, yeah, so hopefully I will be able to do a little bit of a little bit of good damage here. I mean my my hatchet is definitely not the best way to eliminate these things. But bear in mind that hunting is actually one of the best things you can do early on in Parisno because it basically has no downside whatsoever. Whatever you're gonna get from it is pure profit and you have no worries whatsoever about um, getting attacked and killed by uh, a very, very strong force. Obviously, the best thing you could possibly do is head into a very large battle and manage to capture some, uh, some wonderful troops and rescue them. In fact, that is going to be the best thing that you can possibly do. But anyway, there we go. We actually got a fur cloak. Can you put it on your head? Yes, you can. You can actually put it on your head. Ah, that's pretty cool. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. I'm actually just going to take some of that. And uh, there we go. There is actually one boar left over there, but I don't see a point in that. Oh, the deer are available too. How much space do I have? I have a pretty significant amount of space. There's no town next to me, which is a little bit unfortunate. Okay, so let's let's hunt a couple. I actually really like the fact that they start you really close to the, uh, to the herds now, because I seem to remember that back in the day when they first introduced hunting to the mod, that when you went in to fight, um, you, you were spawned pretty far away from pretty much any of them, and it would be very difficult to even find them to begin with. And uh, I, I could be misremembering that, of course, so don't quote me on it, but I seem to remember that. But it's really, really nice that they have changed that, and as I say, they have changed a number of other things, and they are improving it, balancing it, and so on and so forth. And um, that's always very, very cool to see. All right. So the one thing that I want to do now is hopefully I will be able... Uh, I, I, I don't know whether I'm going to even be able to head any of these off, to be honest. I have such a slow horse at the moment. It's going to make things very difficult for us to catch up, which is obviously not very good. So 
Ah, no, wait, maybe, may, uh, maybe, maybe I can get a couple of kills here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and one more. I'm going to just go for one more and that will be it. I'm not going to go too hard on the whole hunting thing right now because it is, um, it is pretty time consuming and I would like to move on. Ooh, I might actually be able to get a number. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice. All right, so there we are. Wonderful. So now we can get all of this and as you can see, we, we still have a little bit of space, but I'm just going to, just going to leave as it is, don't really want to weigh myself down a huge amount. And I, as you can see, I'm actually traveling 2.7 speed slower than I was, just purely for the fact that we don't have any additional horses to help us out. So let me just very quickly go into the marketplace. Oh no, I'm going to get attacked, aren't I? You absolute imbeciles. I cannot believe this. I... You know, this is very, very bad as well, because I can barely see anything. The dark is really, really dark in Parisno, and I might have to actually improve the gamma or something like that. Okay, here we go. Let's just try and murder him as best I can. I think I should be fine, but my one-handed... My one-handed is actually not even bad. It's at 72, which is obviously pretty average, um, but yeah... I think I should be able to beat most enemies, at least right now, because they this guy has a, uh, well, a two-handed. It's pretty easy to beat a guy with a two-handed, especially when I have a one-handed. And there we have it. Okay, that was easy enough, wasn't it? But I could barely see anything. Ah, oh. Yeah, that actually reminds me, it is never a good idea to go into the marketplace or into any of the menus while it is nighttime. That is a thing that you should definitely steer clear of. All right, so let's have a look-see here. So the hides, they have no hides. I'm not entirely sure if it's actually good to sell these things here, but that's exactly what we're going to do. And uh, we're just going to uh, quick sell all of that, and then we're just going to sell all of this after. And as you can see, we sold a, uh, we sold everything for 1,666, which is actually pretty good. I, I think that's pretty nice. And we can also sell the fur cloaks. Not sure if the fur cloaks are... Um, not sure if we can get anything, uh, whether we can get a better price for them. That's the question. There's Dietrich. Hello there, sir. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he is a uh, he is a companion. Unfortunately, he needs <laughs> twenty four thousand. Yes, indeed. Mm. I'm still looking for the other free companions, of course, because there are a number of them. And there's also Ransom Brokers. Of course, I'm going to be attempting to take as many prisoners as possible. That is going to be my first kind of big money-making scheme, I guess, apart from the whole hunting thing that we did just now. And um, yeah, anyway, where's the Mercenary Guild again? Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I've lost my orientation. Uh, it's... Where, what? There it is. There it is. Okay, we're actually really, really close by. And I have 4,400. There's the Great Library. Okay, I have no idea what the Great Library is, but there it is, right next to Galway. I assume, actually, that um, they still have all of the quest lines available in the game. And there's a significant amount of lore in Prisoner as well. So if you are someone that really values story and, uh, you know, rich backgrounds to the various factions and things like that, then you probably want to check this out. You really do. And this is obviously, if you haven't already guessed it, a mod for Warband. All right, so here we go. We are now in the Mercenary Guild. Let's see if I can actually find the guy and speak to him. And here he is. I managed to find him because I remember exactly where he was, amazingly enough. Okay, here we go. What is this place? We call ourselves the Mercenary Guild. My name is Ingvar and I am the head of the guild. Here uh, come people from all over the world who for one reason or another abandoned their old life and decided to start anew. Some of them left their masters, some of them ran from a war they didn't want to fight. Farmers who want to become warriors, outlaws sick of their former lives, religious people who became, who became disillusioned with their faith. We all are here with different stories, different background, different training. You can walk around and talk to them. Some of them might decide to join you, provided you can afford to pay for their services, of course. And so on. Yes, so I want to recruit some of those mercenaries you train. So, yeah, you can actually hire recruits from this particular guy. And you can customize these troops however you so desire, which is very, very cool. So, uh, let's actually just 
back out of this menu real quick because I think that I would like to... Is there some way that I can customize these guys? Ah, there we go. This is what I needed to do. All right, so I literally needed to tab out of the Mercenary Guild and then just do this. And then you can literally decide on any of the races currently available in the game with the exception of um, the... Uh, I want to say ogres, but they're not ogres. They are... Um, Giants. That's it. Giants. So yes. Anyway, we're gonna go for human females. Yes, that is the that is the thing that we will do right now. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna be able to recruit any additional people because I've already. Oh no, never mind. I I I just literally changed it. Okay, fantastic. That's really really cool. And now what I can do is I can literally change their equipment to be anything we want. At the moment, the equipment is currently this, as you can see. And we need to change it. So let me change. And look at this. We can literally change it to anything you want. It is actually kind of fantastic. And uh, yeah. So that is what I'm actually going to be doing for the next couple of minutes. Armor was assessed. The quality of the soldier is 83%. Melee weapons were assessed. The quality of the soldier is 64%. The limit is 120%. So... That's something to bear in mind. There is a rating system in place and you're going to need to make sure that you balance those out appropriately so that you don't have an imbalanced soldier. So someone that has a, I don't know, a rusty knife or something like that, but with the best armor possible. Obviously, that's not something you want. You want to try and balance it out so that it is as useful as possible. All right, so I stayed for a little bit of time at the Mercenary Guild, just recruiting some uh, troops. Unfortunately, the troops that I gained were not that numerous, and I have finally kind of out outfitted them in some decent-ish stuff. Nothing too amazing, of course, because of, well, they're, they're just recruits at the moment, you know, they're just recruits. And we are, of course, going to have to do something a little bit better to get them some nice experience, and hopefully that will then advance them to the next rank, where they will inevitably given a, you know, be given a higher rating capacity, and in which case we'll be able to outfit them with better stuff. Anyway, as you can see right here, because of my trade skill, I'm I'm pretty sure I probably could have gotten a higher trade skill now that I think about it. Maybe from the character creation. Not sure if I could have done better than what I had, but we've got five. So we're going to try and make as good a time as possible with this. And that means buying iron here and selling it at McCann. And that's going to bring a profit of 111 orums per item, which is actually amazing. Unfortunately, there's only two pieces of iron here. I was actually hoping that there might be more than that. But yeah, as you can see, just two. Let's just go into the tavern real fast just to make sure I'm not missing out on anyone. You never know whether you're going to be able to see someone that's really, really useful. And uh, I... I think if you if you saw something weird happen there on the screen, don't worry about it. That was just me maximizing the window again. Anyway, let's just make our way out of here. And let's go over to Amana because I'm just basically going... Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Oh, can I... Oh, no, not in a million years. Ah, oh, I was actually really hoping I'd be able to help out those village farmers. Because uh, generally, if you can, in Parisno, it is always a good idea to try and jump in on any battle that you see that you think is going to give you something. So it's very opportunistic in that sense. Um, I have to be very careful here, though. As you can see, we're maybe going to get murdered. Hopefully not. Okay, thank you very much. Wonderful. Okay, so the taverns, once again, I'm looking... Oh, there's Thrak again. Uh, hello, Thrak. And there's Arakanas as well. Arakanas is literally one of the most expensive companions in the entire game. So, yeah, highly unlikely I'm going to be able to get him. I'm going to talk to him literally just so that you can see how much he is. Yes, he's 100,000. <laughs> as you might expect, that is definitely a very late game uh, late game kind of thing that we're going to go for there. Uh, although, to be fair, you can actually earn a lot of money very, very quickly. You just have to know how to do it. Oh yeah, you might also, you might also um, be seeing that the game is quite a bit brighter now. I haven't actually changed the gamma, but all I did was I turned on HDR mode and enabled instancing. 
or um, exposure, auto exposure, or whatever the whatever the thing that is. Um, but yeah, so generally that is maybe a way that you can uh, make the game look a little brighter. And as you can see, it actually makes things quite a bit brighter from uh, from now on. And so we don't have to worry too much about not being able to see at nighttime any further. So that's actually really nice. Anyway, the main thing that I want to do is I want to go down to Elan Tor lands. I'm not sure if I'm hack on loyal recruits. I'm not sure how good they are, by the way. Let me actually just take a quick look. Hack on, hack on. Where are the hack on? There they are. Oh, they're literally just recruits. We could probably, we could probably defeat them. We could probably defeat them, all things considered. I'm actually wondering whether we could. Uh, let's do it. Yeah. Oh, no one, no one joined. Fantastic. Look at that. No one joined them. That was what I was super, super worried about. Okay, here we go. You have killed two enemies in this battle. Hmm. I'm not sure. Did they see my visage and, they were, and then were immediately uh, killed because they, they saw how amazingly uh, very unattractive we are, I guess? Anyway, yeah. Uh, I also turned off the grass as well, by the way, because um, as it stands with the way that um, foliage and things work in Warband, it just doesn't look very good on video. So that's the reason why I do that. But that doesn't have anything, you know, that, that's nothing to do with Perizno itself. That is literally just Warband and the way that Warband is. Hopefully I'm going to be able to do some damage here. Hopefully I'm not going to die. Uh, yeah, I'd very much appreciate not dying. Is that my is that my companion? Oh, please don't run ahead, you absolute imbecile. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. He's running away now. A little bit more. Okay, don't get, don't get killed now. Don't get killed. Okay, I've got to be super careful here because these guys have thrown weapons. As you might expect, they seem to actually be pretty decent with them. Amazingly enough. Okay, tell them to charge. Tell them to tell all of my guys to charge. Let's do this. Let's try and knock as many of these guys unconscious as possible. Bear in mind that the developers of Prisno did change and indeed balance the whole prisoner taking thing because in the very early stages of when they introduced the Realm of the Falcon, the Realm of the Falcon is one of the factions in the game that pri uh, prioritizes or um, is very specialized in cavalry. Or at least they used to be. I'm not sure if they're still like that, but they used to be very focused on cavalry. So so much so that they would have their first initial uh, recruits and volunteers that you'd be able to get, they would be mounted. And it would actually be amazing. It would be so incredibly cool. Because what you could do is you could... Um, recruit these guys and they had by default blunt weapons and so it made it basically possible for you to go into a battle with 20 to 25 to 30 of these guys and they would take people prisoner 100% of the time but obviously that is a little bit overpowered let's just say it is a bit overpowered and so as a result the developers changed it slightly so that blunt damage has a chance to knock unconscious rather than is 100% chance. So in my opinion, that's actually a pretty cool way of doing things. And otherwise we now have another hired soldier available here. So I will be changing her equipment too. Let's see if she can actually wear some heavy body armor. She can wear some heavy body armor. Okay. That is, uh, I'm not sure if I can actually put anything on her to be honest. What about something like this? I'm not sure if she can actually wear this stuff. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll do something like that. Uh, let's see what, uh, so she's below average right now. Okay, that's perfectly fine. What about some heavy headgear? Ooh, hello, yeah, we got some cool stuff. Okay, now we just need to find something really good. Something really, really good. Okay, what about this? That sounds good. Let's go for that. And, oh, very good, above recommended. Oh, dear. Okay, uh, that might be a bit too good then. Okay, so what about the heavy body armor? Shall we shall we lower the heavy body armor slightly? That might make sense. Uh, we'll go for uh, this. Is is that better? Is that better? I'm actually not entirely sure. No, that is way above recommended. Or or wait a minute, is that is that actually making any difference? I'm I'm not entirely sure whether that's actually any good. Anyway, whatever the case. Let's get them some arranged weapons and then we'll just see what happens here. So what I'm basically doing is I'm trying to get them some decent-ish bows. But nothing too amazing. So just something that is going to be um, 
gonna be okay, you know, just something that's gonna be okay, so something like, hmm, uh, yeah, maybe the mercenary bow, I guess, red short bow is okay, any of these things, yeah, something like that, I think the mercenary bow, and then we're also having them use blunt arrows, because obviously I want them to knock unconscious as much as we possibly can, far too good. You can't exit this dialogue. Okay, good to know. All right, so I'm going to be replacing their um, heavy armor with medium armor then, because apparently that is what needs to be done. Unless this helmet is just too good. Maybe the helmet is the problem. So let's go for some medium headgear then instead. And uh, we'll just have them wear something like this, I guess, because maybe this is way too good. Yeah. Oh no, that is still far too good. Okay, well, uh, fine, fine, right? Okay, we'll just go with that then. W really? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. Uh, I, I, I didn't think that that would be the case, but sure. Okay, so we'll do something like this. No, that is also far too good. Okay, well, medium headgear it is, and we're going to have to go for something a little bit less good. So what about this one? That is all... Okay, bows were assessed. The quality of this soldier is 353%. Okay, so the bow is just the problem here. So I guess I will give the hunting bow then. Really, that's still terrible. Okay, I apparently have no idea how to actually get this one outfitted. Because the previous one, I had no problems whatsoever, but this one, yeah, this one's having some, some issues. So I guess what we'll do is we'll literally just equip her with something else here. And then we'll uh, just see whether that actually makes a bit of a difference. No, it does not. Okay, well, that's that's kind of unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, that is very unfortunate. Okay, so, well, whatever the case, let's just go for a large-ish shield. I'm hoping for a 79 size shield. That's usually what I like to go for here. There we go. And, yeah, far too good once again. I am really surprised. Okay, well, uh, I guess we will not go for something as good as this. So we'll go for, just go for some light mail there. And we'll also go for some light headgear by the looks of things. Very surprised that we're having to do this, to be honest. Um, but yeah, okay, let's go for that. There we go. And is that, is that good enough? No, that is still not good enough. Bows were assessed. It's, it seems like the bow is not something that I need to go for. Apparently, I should not go for the bow. Because apparently, it's just too good, or what? Now the quality is bad. <laughs> what? The bow was the problem? I mean, literally, it's just a regular, regular hunting bow that sucks. I mean, it really sucks super badly. So I'm not sure why... I'm not sure why that would cause a problem. But apparently, it does... So much so that it, it's not working. So, yeah, I guess what I can do now is I can literally just go back and start equipping some much better gear. Yeah, as you can see right there. This is actually making all the sense in the world now. So there you go. Good. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so no ranged attack. But apparently that's going to be enough. Oh, we can actually select a mount as well. I should probably select a mount for them. Actually, maybe I shouldn't. This is probably going to be my ground troops. These are probably going to be my ground troops, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is right now. There we go. All right, fantastic. There. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, yeah, so we should probably be able to tackle these peasant rebels sometime. Uh, maybe, maybe I can... Do you think I can beat them? Do you think I can beat the 19? I'm not sure if I can beat the 19. I'm a bit worried about that, all things considered, so I'm not sure if I really want to go in for that right now. Because what I was actually going to say to you is that I want to go over to this well-known trade route, which used to be really, really good back in the day. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to still be good. That's the problem here. So we're just going to go over to the villages nearby to Elsinore. And that is going to be the thing that we'll try out. And we'll see whether this is actually going to uh, make a big difference to us. Okay, so unfortunately, there doesn't seem to be anything here for us right now. Um, but that doesn't mean that the other villages are not going to have something. So we're just going to continue looking around here. You never know when we might find some... Oh, no, 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 no. You, you, you... Mm. Yes, as I said, it's not a good idea to go into battle ahead of schedule. Or shall we say, in the night time. Okay, let me just see if I can murder this guy. Oh, it's so oh, it's so unwieldy to use this axe. I'm not a big fan of this axe, I've got to say. So should probably get a little bit of a better weapon. Probably a blunt weapon, all things considered. 
And there we go. Look at that. We're actually level 2. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so there we go. Now we can hopefully go inside and take a look. Okay, yeah. Unfortunately, still not anything that we're looking for here. I'm looking for silk or I'm looking for... Mm, what is the other item that is not cloth, but it's light cloth, if you know what I mean? I'm... I can't remember what it's actually called. Let me see if I can go into the marketplace here and see. It's, yeah, no, 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 it is raw silk. It is raw silk. Okay, so let's just actually take a look and see if I can assess the prices of the goods. So yeah, as you can see here, buying raw silk here and selling it at Bulgan would bring a profit of 324, which is actually insane. So if I buy raw silk and selling it at Bulgan. Bulgan? I have no idea where that is actually, all things now, uh, thinking about that. So that is maybe not good, but we'll uh, try it out. So we're just going to sell all of this stuff. Going to keep the shield just in case, because I am actually going to think about equipping Agner with uh, some better stuff, because he's actually using this. Uh, he's using some boots, better boots for him right there. And I, oh, I sold all the one handeds. Oh, okay, I'm an imbecile. All right, should have actually kept one of the one handeds, but I didn't realize about that. All right, never mind. Okay, so we're going to go for another point in charisma here because I would like to get some more trade skill. Why do I have five in trade actually? Does he have trade? Does Agner have trade? I don't think he does. No, he doesn't. We just have plus one. Okay, we have plus one. Okay, so we'll just go for some more charisma here. And we'll probably go for some more leadership, or should we go for something else? Maybe something else, maybe some more power strike, maybe... I don't know, maybe some some trading, uh, well, not trading, uh, training, should we say, foraging, maybe loot. No, nah, we can't go for looting either, we've already gotten some good amount in there. Yeah, I think we'll just go for leadership, why not? Seems like a decent-ish idea. And there we have it. Okay, yeah, so we'll go down to this other one and we'll see if there's some silk here as well. And I will try, should I try to eliminate the bandit threat here? Let's try it. There's 14 of them. Not sure if I'm even going to be able to do this. Oh yeah, by the way, if you don't know anything about Perizno, they have included combat abilities actively that you can use. And these are the uh, the keys for them. So you can see here, you can whistle for your horse, you can borrow ammo from your, uh, your archers, you can heal yourself and so on and so forth with first aid and all that wonderful stuff. So it's actually kind of amazing. And they have done some wonderful, wonderful work in balancing this stuff as well, because it used to be that first aid was very, very strong. And they've obviously balanced it and made it much, much better by providing it with a two minute cooldown instead of a one minute cooldown because obviously a one minute cooldown where you can heal yourself almost all of your hp probably not going to be the best idea you know that's going to be very very strong if someone were to spec a lot of points into intelligence and first aid but now it's it's really nicely balanced where it's two minutes and um you know if you have a good amount of first aid and everything it will still heal you for a significant portion of your hp Anyway, three renowned, very nice indeed. And we are able to just going to, we're just going to say, hey, you know, just keep all your stuff. I'm perfectly happy with this. And wow, okay, they don't have anything at all. Very sad. Oh, well, never mind. As you can see, our relation with this village is now 12, which is actually pretty good. Ah, uh, surprising. All right. Oh, look at this. Oh, raw silk. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That is so, so perfect. And there's also maps as well, by the way, that you can buy in this game too. So if you do have the... Uh, fog of war enabled then you can buy maps and that will actually uncover them so yeah that's the way that you uncover the uh, the fog if you have some issues with that anyway oh we got some more silk oh wow okay this is actually crazy was not expecting to find so much of it but very very pleased oh no i'm are you serious that i'm getting attacked again come on now you absolute scoundrel bandit. Okay, let's do some damage here, shall we? Here we go. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, so after that, we can now make our way over to Borgen. Borgen is actually pretty far away. Yep, it's all the way over there in Draharan territory. Not looking forward to traveling all the way over there. But we can make a brief stopover at the Mercenary Guild if we want to. That is obviously going to make 
a pretty big difference to our um, uh, to our amount of troops potentially i mean they, they can i think give you up to five i'm not sure if they can give you up to ten i don't know that is something that i uh i, I i'm not very experienced with the mercenary guild so that's obviously going to be uh it's going to be a bit sad actually I, i'd love to have more of those oh the ral Dayun assassins okay yeah <laughs> I would love to be able to defeat the Raldayun assassins. Those particular people have some Geldarin noble taken prisoner right there, and it would be wonderful to recruit him, if at all possible, but no, that's not going to be possible right now because the assassins are very strong. Extremely, extremely strong. I remember them very vividly. Um, I, I thought, oh, at the time, you know, back then I was thinking to myself, oh, these guys, you know, they only have, you know, a small party, going to be super, super easy for us to defeat them. No, it actually wasn't easy, as they had assassin swords or something like that that did 55 damage. It was actually incredible how much damage they would deal. And um, yeah, <laughs> it was a pretty, pretty big mess.